There are many sources of noise in the ocean. First of all, there are the animals that live in the ocean themselves. There's ambient noise, such as in the Arctic, uh, ice and ice flows uh, crashing together, for example. But in terms of anthropogenic uh, noise, uh, there are many, many sources. Of course, fishing uh, with the ships and fishing, aquaculture, offshore oil and gas, offshore energy of other types, uh, dredging, uh, laying of submarine cables, uh, shipping, um, cruise lines, recreational boating, anything that humans do really produces noise in the ocean. Many uh, marine animals rely on sound even more so than light. For example, the creatures that live uh, fairly far down don't see much sunlight and uh, therefore they rely on sound in order to live, in order to know where they are, in order to know what else is out there. So if there's something that Im is impacting on their ability to, to hear or their, their acoustic ability, then uh, it, could ba it, it could impact their life, in fact. Uh, will they survive? Or if they survive, how will they adapt? And, and will they be fit? It's estimated that the, the noise level through anthropogenic activity has gone up by 12 decibels over the last a decade or two. That's an enormous rise. We are tr trying through the uh, International Quiet Ocean Experiment to actually make soundscapes in the ocean, and that is to, to map the sounds, the level, the intensity, the areas where the sounds are. For IOC and UNESCO, our role is really to see how can we facilitate this international collaboration, which is what we do, but also then how can we ensure that um, that acoustic sensors are actually uh, become part of the global ocean observing system.